I tell you, I think somebody's playing a trick on me back there. But folks, I just want to give you a little update. 20 years ago, ASW Wrestling started in a little backyard in Hoxie, Arkansas, by my good friend, the promoter at the time of ASW Wrestling, Mr. Aaron Poston. Aaron wanted to be here tonight, but his sister has just been having to take him to the hospital. She is ill. Uh, Aaron is there with her. He wishes he could be here tonight. He just wanted to thank you, the wrestling fans as well, for keeping ASW Wrestling alive. His dream as well as mine all these years. So give yourselves a big hand. Now then, another thing real briefly. The Valiant Arena. For 20 something years as I was floating around the country with Aaron, Handsome Jimmy, The Lawlers, Mr. Guy Coffee, God bless you, Mr. Coffee, one of the greatest, Kevin Nash, <laughs> one of the greatest promoters ever. Folks, everywhere I went, there was a dream of having the Valiant Arena in the back of my head. I got the chance. 12 years this year, give yourself a hand for that one. You made my dream come true, each and every one of you. God bless you for it. Now then, I want to tell you one thing. My brother, Handsome Jimmy Bay, 2020 is marking his seven-decade wrestling career. He is retiring next year. So we're hoping to have him back here in Arkansas one time this year, one time next year, to say hello and goodbye as well. But he wants to tell each and every one of you fans, thank you for keeping him alive this long as well. Give yourself a hand for that. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, I know this, I'm trying to be quick with this. Everybody knows the Great Wall for uh, our veterans. Sometime in May, I can't remember the exact date, or no, is it, when, it, when is it actually going to be here? May 28th, we'll be right here at Tucker, and then moving on to Paragord, correct? Folks, it's going to be sitting out here between the Valley and Arena and our Veterans Park next door. If you get a chance, come by, shake the hands of some veterans that are going to be there, tell them how much we love them and appreciate them, but folks, Believe me, it will be something to see, so mark that one down on your calendar as well. And these two fine folks right here waving at me will be with them that day, so walk up and tell them how much you appreciate them as well. And thank you, mate, tonight. Woo! I think that is about it. Are you ready, folks, for us to give away some awards tonight? All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first award that I would like to give out, we always started with the fan of the year for 2018. Normally it's one fan that gets it. But this year, we've got a whole family that is getting the fan award. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to say, this year's fans of the year 2018, the Wells family. Come on up here. Kaylin, get mom and dad, come on. I had to tell these folks a little hot ride. Said, I need y'all to come here early. I got something for you. So when they got here, Kaylin comes to the back and I tell her, well, baby, you're going to have to wait later till the show because, you know, I'm busy right now, but I'll get it to you later in the show. Come on up here, folks. Ray, you're feeding him, son. He's almost as big as me. What's up, brother? Good to see you again. Kaylin, get over here, baby. Mom, come on up here, baby. My brother Ray, I've known him since we was kids. I love you, baby. Always good to see you. Now, which one of y'all are going to accept this? Kaylin? All right. Well, it is my honor to make y'all the fans of the year for 2018. God bless you. Give them a big hand, folks, right here. Go ahead, old fans. Now, 
Now then, ladies and gentlemen, we'll give the Welsh family a quick moment to get out of the ring area. This one is the breakout wrestler for 2018, and I noticed that this is a breakout wrestler. His glass is broke. <laughs> but anyway, what do you expect from the Dollar Tree? I mean, hey, we try to buy the best. Yeah, Dollar Tree, baby. You don't stop there? I do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, breakout wrestler for 2018, Insane Shane! He come walking up to me back here in height, looking like he does. He kind of reminded me of the bookworm from the old Batman TV series. I, thought he was, I love it. I love it. Brother, congratulations. God bless you. Breakout wrestler of 2018. Thank you, brother. Insane, folks. Oh, hey, you Kodak moment. Ladies and gentlemen, most improved for 2018, Asa Morda! Congratulations for being the most improved for 2018. God bless you. For 2018, the Rookie of the Year, D Congratulations, and we are very proud of you. Keep up the good work. Keep up, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this next one starts a few years back. We started a special edition of the uh, Hall of Fame. It's for not only the, the wrestlers have already got their spot, but there's so many people that have done stuff for the sport of wrestling that are not necessary wrestlers, such as the first year uh, we inducted House of Representatives Dwight Tosh. He worked so hard with getting the athletic commission in order for professional wrestling. We love him. He's, to me, he's 10 foot tall and bulletproof. And if he won for, uh, ran for office 100 times, I'd vote for the man every time. I love him to death. But this one right here, I would like to call out this time Cataclysm and Asa, if they would. Come back to the man.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not normally one to talk a whole lot, but as he said, there is an honorary inductee into the SWF Hall of Fame. It's someone that shows up early every single show, helps clean this building, does whatever is best for the show itself. Stocks the concession stands, whatever is needed, without being asked. Ladies and gentlemen, the honorary inductee into the ASWF Hall of Fame, Fred Without my being in character, 
I'm telling you right now, if it wasn't for Joey Britt, Ricky Rowland, and a guy in the back, I'm not going to mention name, that believed in me, and also Brad Hicks. Also, we ran Infamous Connection. If it wasn't for the brains, and I'm going to admit it here out of character, bringing stuff to light and bringing stuff around, and guys giving me a chance like you, I sit right there with that young lady sitting right there. I sit there and watch this show day in and day out. And I tell you, Ricky, thank you. Thank you for the guys in the back. I appreciate it. What I'm saying is, I'm going to get out of the ring. Thank you. I am humble. And I'm telling you, I've managed a lot of teams. And I'm telling you, I'm humble enough to be established with the infamous team and the guys I work with today. And I'm being that now. I hate your guts. And I hate you. I can't stand you. And I definitely can't stand you. Thank you, fans. And I hate every one of you. But I appreciate y'all for being here every week. And every other week or whatever. And I did. <laughs> This one, this one, I am so very proud of because we went back and forth about putting them in the Hall of Fame for a couple of years. Now, folks, these two cats that are about to come out, I've known them for years. I'm very proud to say that they are one of the groundbreakers that help us get into wrestling to where we are right now. You may remember them. Those of you that are here younger may not know them. But, lady, gentlemen, they are legends. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I want to bring out Sweet Joe Alvarado and Big Daddy Say it, Joey. Say it. Big Daddy Fleetwood, baby! The Cadillac Brothers! <laughs> Hey, Big Daddy, now we can come out there if you want to, or we'll throw your big butt up here in the ring, whichever you want. He's coming in. He's going to come in, ladies and gentlemen. Give this man right here an applause. He has been through H E double hockey sticks and back, but you can see he is still kicking butt. He is still kicking butt and rocking and rolling as only Big Daddy can do. That was good over in the corner, y'all. Man, oh man, it's good to see both of y'all here. Now I just want to know one thing. Are you, going to, are you going to sing just a few lyrics here real quick? Yes, I am. And I'm proud to be here in Tuckerman, Arkansas. Why they call me Joe Eldorado? My partner's a showpiece of excess luxury with arms like an animal and legs like a stump. And all the young wrestlers hate to take his bumps. So lock up your girlfriend and watch out for your back, because you might just get hit by a Cadillac! I love it, baby. I love it. Oh, baby, I love it. Man. I love it. I love it. Now, folks, Brody here is kind of a little protege and family of this crazy bunch, so I'm going to turn the microphone real briefly over to him. Thank you, Ricky. All I can say is I've traveled up and down the roads with Big Daddy. Right, boy. <laughs> and what a wild ride it's been. But in that time, over eight years, I have realized one thing. that dreams, they do come true. 
Bad times don't last, but bad guys do. Baby. Uh, all right, my brothers, so glad to have you here tonight, and congratulations, both of you, for being inducted into the ASW Hall of Fame. Let me get out of the way here, where they can have their Kodak moment, folks. Man, that's a terrible twosome if there was. But like I said, folks, it's cats like him, it's cats like him that broke the ground for guys like me. God bless both of you. And Big Daddy, you are always in my prayers, brother. Woo! At this time, before I induct this next person into the Hall of Fame, I would like to call out Excalibur. induction belongs to you. All right. This next guy that's getting inducted into the Hall of Fame is someone that's very important to me. We've gone through a lot of things together since we were kids. He just beat lung cancer. My brother... Uh, my, my body is done, and I am happy. 
Thank you all very much. Morgan, before you cut out, I want to tell the fans something about you. Folks, I was there when this young man first started training for wrestling. Joey was as well. And honest to goodness, we didn't think he was going to make it. I mean, straight up, we just said, there ain't no way that kid's going to do what we're trying to do. But all I can say is, you proved us all wrong. I know the trials and tribulations that have happened in your personal life. I just want you to know, we love you, God loves you, and we are so proud to be able to put you into the Hall of Fame here tonight. this in the back, I'm going to ask him again, I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm having my last match tonight. You have referee experience. Why don't you put on the red shirt for me? Spider day, baby, spider day. I guess that means it's official. It's official then, Joey's going to rip the match. Congratulations, Morgan. All right, folks, we're winding down here. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to call out Josh Cross and Miss Cassie to the ring area, please. Ladies and gentlemen, 
at this time, I would like to call back to the ring area, Insane Shane.
Jesus loves to dress it. So I guess I'll start with you for the next morning. Thank you. Pawpaws will do a lot for them grandchildren, I know for a fact. Joy Britt, I'm honored, and I'm so glad to be able to bring you into the Hall of Fame here at ASWF. Congratulations, brother. Oh, my God. 
I'm wondering, I snuck that one on you and I wondered how this one happened. Folks, I gotta tell you, over the years, I've got to work with some wonderful people. A lot of them are still here. A lot of them have gone on to that great ring in the sky. But there's two guys, first of all, like I said earlier, Aaron Colston, and the late great Mr. Guy Coffee of Memphis that taught me about how to bring a show together. God bless Mr. Coffee for sure. <laughs> then I hooked up with a guy that y'all know well with the last name of Valiant. <laughs> Brother, he said in his late 70s he's still taking names and kicking butt like always, and I'm very proud to say, handsome Jimmy Valiant. Thank you so much. Now then, one person in particular, first I want to thank God always for everything that he blessed me with. But there's one person that I want to say thank you to that's not with me any longer and he's been gone from me about 30 years. My grandpa Carter. My mother's daddy turned me on to wrestling when I was four years old. I want to accept this here tonight and just make his memory. Thank you, Grandpa. I love you. Here, you dirty dog. We've been kicking it since we was this high. When this happened, I heard the music. My daughter, Sarah, what the heck? I love you, baby. Always. Last but not least, Joey Britt, my friend, the super. Brad, I'm glad you switched sides and you're running with the good for a change. But folks, there's always some person that gives you your strength. The person that's gave me my strength is that little lady right there. Because for what all she has endured in the past few years with my grandson, a normal person would have broke. And when I see her standing in the corner crying, and I start crying and hold her, she said, Daddy, it's going to be better. And thank God it has. God bless you.